and it's time to talk about your thyroid, why it matters, and how it can impact your hormonal health. Endocrinologist Dr. Elise Goldberg joins us now with what we need to know. Welcome to CityLine, and please explain to us what do you do as an endocrinologist? So as an endocrinologist, I'm a medical doctor, and I did a specialty in um, hormonal systems of the body. So the most common things that we see would be diabetes or thyroid disease, but there's a lot of other hormone systems, your pituitary, your menstrual cycle, et cetera. Okay. Now, how does the thyroid fit into your work? What is the thyroid, and why is it important? So the thyroid is, it's a gland or shaped typically like a butterfly and lives just underneath your Adam's apple in the front part of your neck. But don't worry if you can't actually feel it. Most people can't feel their own thyroid unless there's something else going on. Um, the main job of the thyroid is make, to make thyroid hormone, and that hormone contributes to the metabolic rate or the speed of how different body systems work. So how fast your gut works, how fast your heart beats, how hot and cold you are. Okay, so what happens when your thyroid isn't working properly? So the most common problems actually have to do with the structure of the thyroid or what we call thyroid nodules. And these are very common. About one in every two um, adults over 60 would have a thyroid bump. Most of these insignificant, don't need to be worried about. But sometimes your physician would um, order serial ultrasounds to monitor and make sure that there's nothing um, ominous going on. What we talk about most often um, about thyroid dysfunction has to do with the function of the thyroid. So whether or not the thyroid is making the proper amount of thyroid hormone. Um, uncommonly, it can make too much hormone and there can be too much thyroid hormone around. But more often than not, when we're talking about thyroid problems, we're talking about hypothyroidism or um, low thyroid function. About one in um, six women at some point in their life will have some in encounter with thyroid dysfunction requiring medication. And probably about one in 10 women right now are taking thyroid hormone. Okay, so how do we know if our thyroid isn't working properly? Okay, excellent question. Well, first of all, the, the symptoms of thyroid dysfunction are really nonspecific. So we would, um, or people would describe feeling sluggish or cold, maybe depression. There may be associated weight gain, um, maybe constipation. But again, these are really nonspecific symptoms, and probably a lot of us have experienced some sort of these symptoms over this past year. So it's really important that if you have many of these symptoms, to speak to your doctor because a blood test can differentiate whether or not it's a thyroid problem versus something else. Okay, so are there any diets or any foods that can help your thyroid? Oh, I wish there was. This is probably the most common question I get asked in clinic um, in pa with patients who have thyroid dysfunction. Um, there's a lot out there talking about how autoimmune diets or gluten can affect thyroid hormone. And in truth, there isn't any good evidence that it, that your diet can affect your thyroid function and um, make you not require medication. Some patients would feel better um, if they take away processed foods from their diet and and then that's great, but that's not specific to thyroid dysfunction. Yeah, because we're all going to feel better if we get rid of processed foods, right? <laughs> it's a really good point. And maybe it's mm -hmm. empowering to know that there isn't really a diet that will solve it. It's out of your hands. You've got to go and you've got to get treatment. Um, what about supplements? Any of those might help your thyroid? Um, a lot of people like to talk about iodine because uh, iodine is an important building block for thyroid hormone. But in fact, both too low iodine and too high iodine can lead to thyroid problems in, in, in terms of hormone production. And in Canada, it's very rare to be uh, low in iodine. So I would really um, say to be careful with taking any extra iodine because it can lead to thyroid hormone overproduction or underproduction. Um, biotin's another interesting story because the supplement biotin can interfere with the lab test. It doesn't affect the thyroid function at all, but it can cause an interference is what we would say, or an artifact in the lab test, making you think you have a thyroid problem, but really you don't. Okay, good tips there. Anything else we should know? Because hypothyroidism and thyroid dysfunction are just so common, um, there's a lot on social media really trying to target this population and trying to increase engagement. So be really be mindful and try not to get your information from Instagram and TikTok and speak to your doctor because we really are all in this to help people feel better. So trying to make sure that you're, you're getting the right information is very important.
Yeah, it almost sounds insane that you have to warn people not to get their information from TikTok and, uh, and Instagram, but it makes perfect sense. <laughs>